Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everyone, Silver Spoon here and Mike Volpier. Welcome to our second and final game of the NHL of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. I hope you're having fun with us for the first skip four games in between of the two versus the third seed. And right now, this is the last game of the, the first day of the playoffs as we're about to be seeing the Golden Knights defending champions of 2023 Stanley Cup against the Canadian team of the Edmonton Oilers. Now the Edmonton Oilers, we are saying, this is what we do to bring things on. It's a great way they've been playing each other since in the second round of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. This was not even a joke at all, but what questions do you consider of if you find another way for the Oilers and for the Golden Knights? There might be a one change off if they can try to keep on coming down. The tackers is not always worth it, but it's worthwhile that they try to do it all over and get that done. As for right now, let's have your starting lineups as Aiden Hill and Skip. And, and of course, Skinner will be the starting goaltenders for the Oilers and the Knights. Starting off here for the Vegas Golden Knights, as we start off with Jack Eichel. He has an unstoppable force to keep up with his elite strength with the puck. He made this clear, but hopefully he might keep on coming down if he gets more. Then Mark Stone goes with a yoink because the elite defensive stick lifts. He does it all with his contribution, he does have it all of his way to go with the defensive settling. And Alex Petrangelo is he shut down with the great rush defending. And you know he's been doing really well in between for those games, but not for always. Their team is trying to clutch back in, but all that does happen now, we have to find out if he does it again. Your superstar players are Shane Theodore with an Illy Edges, John Allen March itself, the closing quarters in the, in the game, and you already have seen that one with the Sharks and the Knights, then William Carlson with the tricky zone. And then it's Chandler Stephenson with the wheels. Then Alex Martinez with the ice pack that brings with a good shot block. And finally Braden McNabb with also doing the same with just like Martinez does. Now let's send you down over into Oilers side. For your starting group, Connor McDavid has an all wheels ability that he's been going all over us this time. He has an Ely skating with the puck vision. He has it all coming in down, keeping at the right timing. Then it's Leon Dreisaitl with the tape-to-tape -tape vision on the Ely passing within the vision. He has it all coming in to be one of his best techniques at this goal. He might be keeping it in there if he wanted to. Then your superstar players are Zach Hyman with an unstoppable force. Then Ryan Nugent Hopkins with the third eye. Mateus Eckholm with a send it pass. Then it's Darnell Nurse with the true lenses to make a great hit. And then it's Evan Bouchard with the puck on string. And lastly, Ryan McCloy will be putting up the wheels to take all of his chance. Now let's get you down to the Rogers Place Arena in Edmonton, Canada. Standing by, I have his Terry Cruz. He's along with the other commentators as well. With along with the two. And this will be all for everything of Nickel. And the center ice will be all you know for DJ Beats. Let's get going, and we'll see you all later after this. Hey everybody, we're at Edmonton, Canada. The Rogers place is filled with lighting up, as we're about to be seeing the Canadian and the Vegas team of the night. It's about that time. Let's get in to Rogers place to start, the home of the Stanley Cup playoffs right here on EA Sports. The starting group as matchup as Hill makes a stop with the first save. You notice impacting right now is going to be a lot of challenges. The face off is not always impossible, but we might be seeing what they can do. Here's the call as you have his DJ Peaks. As for one of the better reasons, Alex Petrangelo has the ultimate of his shutdown ability. He can take all of this without a lot of a constipation and took it all of his range sight. He has it all within encounterable to take all of his lengthy pools in the setup of the game. As for McDavid, he has his wheels to take all of his percent. He may be taking it over for one step to another. 
I have a lot of this too, the range, but I'll have to find out. If it's another way that they can keep on attacking it and keep on going. We'll see what they can do. Keep on coming in. Back to you, Terry. Here's Petrangelo's shot. Saved by Skinner. That'll be his first save of the night. You know what happens to be Skinner because of it ultimately have to be given up right in this instant. You know, the toughness is the challenging. The rule is kind of like different because it's not really like a save. What they can call for is that is what happened to when you recall it back in the second round of the game. There's no other questions to consider. Of. They've been trying to keep that one and going in battle. Here's Carlson, lost that puck, and this will roll it up. Now here's Denmark. He now gives a deep pass to Kane. Kane on his way down with a shot. Saved up here for the big time tonight for Hill. Kane has that puck. Finds Denmark. This one gets mumped out. Kane pushes the puck back. He now finds Eugene Hopkins. Two, it's blocked up again, and this will be a stop on the team. Jan Mark's got it now. Here's Amadio. Amadio giving it over again, now finding a pass over to Fyodor. Here's the pass to Sevenson. Barbashev brings it right, he scores! What a backhand release been for Barbashev. That'll be his first goal for the Golden Knights. Let me say this, Barbashev is doing a lot of his backhanding position. He really has to be like, it's clear. Make an attempt to go right toward underneath, and that really got to be like, clear. That is great. But that attempt to be near for Skinner had gotten loose. He can't let that go in there if he get that one out of the way. This will be his first goal in the playoffs, as this one starts with a 1-0 lead for Vegas Golden Knights. Then the pass over to Eckholm. He passed to Perry. On a shot range again to Ed Boy scores! What a great scoring job for Ed Coleman as this team is tied. 67 goals in the playoffs. Really had to be like that. You know what Ed Coleman can do? Give a fire off. Yep, this is whatever happens now because Ed Coleman really has been sending it over ever since he tried to get that pass over. And watch what he does. Dish off to Ed Cole, got that great goal, and took it here. Teams are tied up with one, as Corey Perry had that one with the pointer inbound to get that tied up. Now with the win, here's that call, now find Bouchard. 16 minutes remaining in the first period, now find Stephenson. And Fedor back the air away. Fedor in the center, looking for a push-off look. Back again in the video. Shot saved by Skinner. Ed Cole back the other way. Another attempt to clear it buck out. No penalty call. Bouchard almost went tipped it in, and this one stayed out of the net. That was too close. You know, I was not seeing it when this was going to come along. But that was no other attempt that they were trying to stop on that. That is like a hard one to take in play. McCloy with a shot. Saved again here by Aiden Hill. McNabb trying to hold that puck back. McCloy over again to Kulak. Kulak got pushed down. The puck is already cleared out, and now McNabb will have it. 14 minutes remaining. He goes down, and this one pucks it dumped out. Here's Gagner. Lose the puck, and now Kolsar has it. Kolsar trying to battle it for the puck. Trying to keep the attempt to die again. Deep pass by Scott. And now Roy has it. Roy again on a one on one surface, and Holloway has it. He loses that puck range. Connor has it. Saved again by Skinner. Deep pass to Brown. On a one on one. Oh, what a tight down. That one's going to be a hard one. It's a mess up. No over surveys. No sorry. Lose the puck. That one wide. Now back to McDavid. He now has it over into the other side of the transition, and this way he goes down. The Knights are back in the offense. Denmark shot. Saved to get by Skinner. McDavid clears that puck out. Trying to look for some heavy attacker. Saved by Gill. 
11.15 to go in the first period. Still a tie game. Just about that time before the midway mark appears. It's a tie game. One and one. The win puts a bird of Vegas Golden Knights. Recover by Jaime. Nurse got it across here now finding dry side. The Oilers pass it. Shot! Oh, what a close range! Almost made a goal, but it stopped short near the red line. Oh, man, that was close. I mean, if he couldn't make that goal right away, they would have counted it. Now the win again for the Vegas Golden Knights. The pass back to Marchetel. He goes back to Carlson. Carlson, deep pass again to Princeton. Bryson there in the middle. Shot saved up by Skinner, and the puck goes into the net, out of play. He's been down to the aggressive. Don't say that Skinner was able to do that save earlier, but that's what you do. Try to look out if you can get over this one and have the right tent. Offensive well, against set, ready for another faceoff with nearing the midway mark of the period. Now the win puts in. Here's Bryson. Lost that puck and now Kane has it. Patrick Kane looking again. Here's Nurse. Sorry, Evander Kane, excuse me. Here's Bryson back the other way. On attack, range and bound. Lost that puck and now Kane has it. You give it over again to Nugent Hopkins, and now Nurse has it. Nurse on his way down, looking for some spread for brooms. Nugent Hopkins shot. This one gets to nine. Back to Jamar. Shot on the backhand. Saved by Gill. Now back to over. On a shot. What a release, but saved by Gill. That was just relentless ways that you can try to attack that one. That really had to be a hurtful way if you can't attempt to do it. The pressure's on, it's now to the Hunter and Hopkins. And he loses the puck, they bring it back. Marinus lost that one, as Roy will have it over. Roy is now looking it in. Puck one of steel. Here's another one for Desiris. Roy recovers the puck. Nurse lost that one. Here's Roy, backhand denied again by the Skinner. Colsar's got that puck into the corner zone, passing the midway mark. Here's Roy. Wyckoff shot, saved by Skinner. Oh, what a great motion to take the help of a call for the Oilers. And this one stops him down with just a tie game. Yeah, it's really like not even just a day you want to be there. <laughs> but that is what you want to do. I mean, that's what you can do to try to keep on attacking. Barry lost that one here, and he goes tumble down. In corner by Fojo. Fojo can't get it to go as Kill trying to stop one with only 7.21 to go. Number one's coming in. As right now, it's another game in Crucially. It's a tie game. Off to another win for Vegas. The Golden Knights are back into the offensive zone in the Oilers territory. Harvest have shot, make it two, is denied by Skinner. Just 7 of 4 to go. An easy look, you make that clear. That's a great catch. He know he shows up. That's great. Great manners. Just to show him what he does. Now for the win, here's Higgy. Shoot, saved again by Skinner. Bouchard bumped up to the wall, and now he finds Echo. Echo on his way down into the right slot. On a passing bound. Hey, he try to get that one away. It's now seconds and we'll have it. The saucer pass gets disconnected. Barbashev have that one in cover. Here's a man shot saved by Skinner. Trisile lost that puck. Sevens and back to White Cloud. Shots away! That's blocked up in the defender on the Vegas territory. Five man back to McDavid. They're in the Knights territory. Dry side off. Cheers! Saved by Hill. 
up and over the net and right toward near the glass. That's really helpful. Not what you do with this right in moment. That is a great look off. Officials are getting set, ready for the face-off. It's still a tie game with 5.16 to go. Now the win again for the Vegas Golden Knights. Retrangelo will start things off as Bryson will have it. Five minutes to spare in the first period as Bouchard has it. Edmonton back into the air away in the offensive zone. Trying to pull the pass to Holloway. Holloway goes down. Vegas under pressure as Martinez gives it back to Petrangelo. Here's Bryson. Bryson passes to Petrangelo. Again to Marchesol. Marchesol trying to hold on. Carlson shot. Saved the pad off by Skinner. Martinez has that one recovered. Back again to Petrangelo. That went wide and up and towards right toward the board. Bryson back to Marchesol. Eklund's got it now. Trying to look in behind the net. I know, but look to Petrangelo. What a save by Skinner. It's really has to keep on coming down. Skinner makes a save. Clearly, he does that with the most. Kane's got it now. And it's a late penalty call. And this one will go on to Vegas. The first power play is on for the Oilers. This Nesco is in the penalty box. Will start in for the first penalty kill for Vegas. That's what you can't do. Do not interfere with the oiler. Here's a look as right now we have a cross DJ to stand by. The tape to tape feed has an ultimate lead, has a Leon Dreisaitl, has to give that one a good look. That power play is worthless, but don't take coverage if you can take that one coming in. There's another attempt that you can try to keep on coming in bound. And you will have to try to see what he can do to try to go in with the attackers in between. I have a lot of range in between of it. Let's see if Leon Dreisaitl will get a good pass and take the lead ahead. Back to you. McDavid's blocks pass and Aiden Bell takes a save. 2.42 left to go in the first period. Looks like they wanted to get some a little more help. 7 to 6 in the face off of the territory. Now ready for an R1. Faceoff win for Vegas. McNabb clears the puck. Now back to McNabb, McDavid. Try saddle up, save again by Hill. Now back to McDavid. Hold it to Hyman. Bouchard in the cannon shot. Denied by the goaltender. Two times stopped by Gil. What a big save and bound. Oh, he's been going everywhere. Aiden Hill, no defense. For the win, here's McNabb. Just about two minutes in the first period, one minute for the power play for the Oilers. Pass to McDavid. Now he gives to Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins spreading it around a bit. Tries all shot. This one stopped again by Gill. Here's Hyman. Give to McDavid shot. Great save by Gill. Oh, he's been kicking it in there. Just for long, during the 90 second mark, just don't have to believe. Still a lot of time left in this period. It is still a tie game. Now the win puts in as Martinez will have it. Keep the puck in bounds. 30 seconds for the power play for the Oilers. And a short handed has been denied. Nurse gets again to Neck home. Echo finds Perry. Looks like he's ready to get out there. What a missed shot opportunity range. This one stays out of his own. We are under a minute period minute to get things underway here in Edmonton, Canada. Still a tie game. Power play is off. Looking like there was no tricky mate that he was trying to keep on coming in. Well, the attackers are just trying to like keep that one in there. The Oilers are doing their best. But sometimes that the Vegas Golden Knights really have to try to like stay out of sight. There's no way that they can handle it because that is like a hard one that they're trying to stop on. That's what happens. They can't leave the mark out of it. They play, trying to deep in and stop the game before the buzzer hits. And that ends the first period. 
tie game release bid, Vegas and Oilers. We'll see who takes the lead when we come back after the break. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right with you after this. And we are ready for the second period. Hi, hello everyone, welcome back and let's get going. And we're ready to start things off in the second period of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs of the Knights and Oilers. This has been a closest game. Let's have a look in between you, Nickel. Well, there might be a great changeoff. This is like a, a biggest attackers that they are doing it all over this again. Probably this is what they've usually done. Every pass since so so, they've been doing it a lot of like a hard one to take. This is like a no other joke. They are just keeping it out. Just the right timing. That first goal turned to be over for that was just like Vegas. And then it happened to be the Oilers. They wanted to tie this game. They've done that. A lot of helpful to make the make. It. They're doing really well to keep out from coming. Skinner's gonna hold on right now with only under 19 minutes to start in the second period. With the win for the Vegas Golden Knights, here's Petrangelo. Lost that puck as Barbashev has it. Now Stephenson will have it. Barbashev up, almost put that in with the goal, and this one stopped again by Skinner. Well, that full ranging pressure zone is almost going to be causing that. There is no other way that they cannot let them slow down. They're trying to need to get this for more room, get it done fast. Here's CeCe, in the middle, block the shot by Martin X. Barbashev again, over to get a Petrangelo. On the left slot, in the attackers, trying to shoot, again hit the goalpost, two in a row in the second period. Jen Mark's got it now, into the corner, finds again a new Hopkins shot, rebound, it's stopped by Hill. This one keeps on coming, 17-17 left to go in the second period, looking like they wanted to get up there with more room. Now we'll win our win for the Vegas Golden Knights. And now Marcus Sell will have it. Here's another takeover, and now back the arrow way goes. Pass off to Bryson, shot. Again, they hit off another one to make the shot, and it's still missed again. That was really intense. Not you can't do it. You don't get that goal in there. You don't kick it in there. You just try to attempt it. I mean, they're missing it everywhere. With the face-off coming up here, the coming up games for tomorrow, tomorrow day. That's right now, this will be the second day that will be happening here in between. The first game that will happen here is will be the Boston Bruins facing against the Washington Capitals. Following along with the next game as this will be the Rangers facing against the Tampa Bay Bolts. And on the other side of it for tonight's game will be the Western Conference matchup as the Predators take on against the Dallas Stars. And the Kings against the Vancouver Canucks at 10 p.m. tomorrow, only on Sun of Peace. Catch it all year long by watching it in the playlist section, and feel free to subscribe to his channel. You hit the like button, and also, you can follow him on the social media anytime. If you don't, somebody will. Here's Eugene Hopkins now by Bouchard. Trying to battle the puck. Now finds it again at Echo Shot. Trying to deflect it in there, but it was nicked off too short. Jamar shoots, save again by Hill. Under 15 minutes remaining in the second period, still tied up as Theodore will have it. Here's another take, shoots and save by Skinner. Eckholm's got it now, deep pass in the center of the ice of Perry. Perry swings it back again to Eckholm. Look again to Perry. And he's been tripped. There's a penalty called on the Vegas Golden Knights. That's going to be a cross checking on the video. There's a problem now. You're going to get in the penalty box. Don't get a question to ask. That's what happens. Another penalty kill. You're dead. Golden Knights are in the power play, ready to start things off. Still a tie game, looking for a leadoff in a second. The win for the Vegas Golden Knights as McNabb gives the Barbashev. We'll try to attempt to clear the puck out. And now here's Bouchard, now find it again, over into Hyman. Hyman trying to cut it bounce, 
but stop by Big Dad. Dumps it out. Dara Dreisaitl will have it. Nugent Hopkins, he went down. Marvish Jeff to Pachangelo. Try to look for a short-handed goal. Dumps it in the corner, now finds McDavid. Here's McDavid trying to pass it again to Bouchard. Hyman right over again to Dreisaitl. Shot! Well, just saved again by Hill. This is really not what you want to do. Because if you're going to have to try to like go for a shot, that's nowhere to go. You have to blame that one. Try to get back into it. Dry side of like again, McDavid. He went down. And here's Roy. A shorthanded attempt. Saved again by Skinner. Oh, what a big takeoff before that lead would have popped open. Here's Hyman. Right over again, lost that puck. Time is almost up, he's ready to get out. He went down, and Perry will have it. The power play's over for the Edmonton Oilers. He scores! E. Bender Kane brings their team up by one. It's out to one. Oilers, keep it tight and keep it pressure. Quite a shot made. And because you know that Evander Kane really had that rocket grip, really it turned to me like he passed it right toward Gill. That's when you notice. You always get that pass in there between, you get the goal, that's what you get to get into it. Evander Kane with 29 points in this game now has 12 minutes remaining in the first and second period of the game. With the win for Ryan Nugent Hopkins, he finds Bouchard, now finds Jim Mark. Jim Mark has been trapped up as now Carlson give it again. Now back to the air side of Marchant Salt. Jim Mark's got it. He looks like he wants more. That puck stopped again. And now Kegu over again to Bryson. Bryson lost that one, can't find open man. Tries again for Bryson. Now over now to Carlson. Back to Narchesaw. Narchesaw. Oh, he got whipped over by Jen Mark. Shot. Still blocked off by the goaltender defender. That has another Golden Knights to take the block out of it to go with the Leesman Diamond. Then this one's going to be a slashing call for the Oilers, and now this turns it over. Uh oh. Mateus Ekholm is in the penalty box. Not so good, man. You don't let defend it up. You don't get enough from doing trouble lately. First penalty kill is on Edmonton Oilers as the power plays on for the Vegas Golden Knights nearing a midway mark of the period. As they win, here's Theodore. Marge of shot. Saved up by Skinner. That's an easy move that you can know that Skinner that gets that one there quickly. They just get that one there right straight away. That's when you notice. Try to stay out there on your, on your own attack. Because there's no other way you can't ever defend it. And you're not going to get their fruit if you have it right time it. Shoot! Save! Oh, what a save by Skinner! Oh, can you believe it? This is the biggest save ever. Now that's what you do. Skinner just made that one tight it up that short. He never sees that one going. That is the biggest save. I've seen that coming. An incredible one puts in for Jeff Skinner. We go right in, sorry, uh, the Skinner. We are right now back into it again as Marcusel wins it. That's blocked right to the glass and Carlson will have it. He finds Stephen. Seven said, shot, he scores! We are tied! I have video deflected that one in there, and they are back in it now. Watch what happens. Because Mike and Mideo had that deflected in there, he just saw that one coming in. The big tipper. Back turned it it was going to be hit, and it just had it all. That's where the screen comes in. He just really made that one in there to attempt it, and he did. He finally got done that, and he just showed how it's done. We're under 9.30 left to go in the third second period as excuse me, Martinez has it back to Carlson and Marcus Sells up, he scores! What a 
closing quarter, and then Margisol has her team up in the lead. There's a back-to-back -back switch. Margisol saw that coming, like that. Easier said than done. If Margisol knows that he could definitely just so uh, settle it down right over the pad, he went tumble down. It would have been almost like a slashing, but he just got that goal. Not a choice at all. He just saw that. Back to the number face-off, waiting for the Oilers. It's now back to Gendy Perry. He now finds McCoy. Up and cut it down. It's blocked. Sevenson, Petrangelo, right away. Now has it again to Barbashev. Barbashev trying to look for some more space. This one's blocked again. Sevenson, battling on the buck corner. Recovered by Nurse. They are battling again, and there is the penalty! Two times for the Vegas Golden Knights, as Barbashev's in the penalty box. This is not good. When Barbashev did something that is wrong, you don't take that cross-checking away from it. That's definitely a good call. Referee knew he had to signal that one. As now, the number penalty kill is on Vegas Golden Knights. The power plays on for the Edmonton Oilers. And now they will win it. Shoots! Saved again by another run! He scores! Now they're back to tie it! Nugent Hopkins is power play goal for the Oilers! You saw this one coming. That was like a big, quick pass look. And he makes it go ahead a little bit. He give it off to, to right away and just go with the backhand to try to beat the goaltender. That didn't get to an interference. That was close enough, but he just finally got that goal. Keep on coming down. Officials again set ready for another face off as this one's tied up. Nugent Hopkins with his first goal of appearance. Eight minutes gone by in the second period. And Skinner will stop that one and ready for another face off. This is like a biggest idea. I know that Skinner was doing it for sure. It just had to be like you never mean it to go right away. If you know how to handle it, all you do is just keep on trying. Here's Marinez, he now finds it for Changelo. Lost that puck, and a save by Skinner. Bouchard's got that puck, and now back over again to Echo. He's now over again to Hyman. Hyman on his way into the middle. And he abound to Hyman over now the shot. Pat saved by Hill. Barbashev's got that puck. Kick the puck out of the corner, and Bouchard will have him regroup. Here's Echo, and he'll have it again to McDavid. McDavid trying to spruce it around. Find again to Hyman. Again to McDavid. Stop again by Gill. 6.43 left to go. Quick timeout before we get into the faceoff. As it continues on, it's still a tie game with a 3-3 score. Stephenson will win the faceoff. Now here's Barbashev. He'll have that puck with only 6.30 to go. Now Jamark's got that puck here. Edmonton will have the possession. King will have it across. Marinez will take the puck here. Amedio with the puck. Six minutes remaining in a second. On the final shot, saved by Skinner. The puck comes loose and this one's stopped by Skinner as this will be coming into another faceoff. Now ready for an hour one to make the attempt once here. It's still a tie game, trying to figure out who gets another face-off win. Wing puts up for the Golden Knights. The Edmonton Oilers are back into the offensive zone. They got the stride, and along the way, should save the game here by Hill. That's really like a hard one. Pressure's on. They are just raking and will like they wanted to pay for this. Here's your Jim Hopkins, finds your mark, he goes down, and feed are back again to Bryson. Five minutes remaining in the second period. He scores! Two goals for Marchant Salt. 190 in the playoffs. After all of that one, their pass has been going everywhere. Right to Marchant Salt, and he fired that in. What a shot made. 
That's because you know what happens to Bryson. He got a great pass assisted one time though and made that one in there as a tough to be like a turnout like he did it all as he can. Two goals in the game for Jonathan Marchinsault. If he gets the third one, he'll make his hat trick. Here's Perry. Pass across again to Eckholm. 435, let's remain the second. Off again to McCloy. And a race inbound. This one gets fumbled out. McNabb has that puck and now find Theodore. Theodore has that one recovered. Taking his time, Lucky Carlson. Good stop by Skinner. Carlson's in the corner. CC takes the puck away. And Perry will have it. All on the side, in the middle. That one gets choppy. Poked it away by the goaltender. Fogel over now to Nurse. Nurse the CC shot. Saved by Gill. Just 3.22 remaining in a second period. It is still a one point lead for the Vegas Golden Knights. Now they're ready to do another face-off coming in. Roy wins the face-off. McNabb gets the feed over. Theodore lost that one bucket. It goes right back into the Vegas spot. Now he will swing it over. Now to Colesar. Theodore recovers. And Connor has it. Here's Roy. Shot. Saved up by Skinner. Goddard battling it along the board. White Cloud trying to hold on. Cotter's got to recover. On a shot. Wrist one. And a stop made by Skinner. Here's Hyman. Now back the other way. Goes into the offensive zone. Trying to pick up the gap. McDavid's got it down. Here's Nurse. And middle save on the pad by Hill. We are under two minutes remaining in the second period. Looking like they wanted a tie. Vegas Golden Knights wins the faceoff. White Cloud has it up. He's on his way down, trying to look for some more room. In him slot, saved off by Skinner. What a great reaction, and Hyman has that puck. You know, an easier way is not always to attempt this, but this was a lot. Crucial hard way, but they were doing it on the road. Can't leave the mark out of it, and we can try and make it work. Last minute remaining in a second period, as this one comes down to the wire, in, this, in two periods. Third period will be underway shortly after the intermission. Hyman went down, paint shot, up and over, and it's stopped by Gill. What a great look of his timing of the shot, but a great stop by Gill. Oh, he's like very good. Keep an eye on it, he's been rolling it. It's just like a hard one, trying to stay in far bound in the first game. I know he's getting a lot of like a like a hard guy, but he's like saying a big, that's that is all for sure. That shot went wide. Final seconds in the period. Kane, try to look it up. Try to beat the goaltender with the buzz beater, and it went wide. One goal ahead for the Knights, as Marcus Holt has that one coming in with two goals, and Bryson with the assist. We'll be right with you with the third period after this break. We are on down to the final period in Edmonton. All drilled and ready to start things off for the final period of regulation in game one. This has been a one wild way to see them go back and forth for the Vegas and Edmonton. Let's have your taste there, Nickel. Well, I got to say that this one's like a biggest on the tackers. You know, the hard thing about it is because the Edmonton Oilers are really like all to a pursuit. They lost against the Los Angeles Kings in Game 7. That was happened to be the last part of the EA Sports here on Stanley Cup since Season 2. That was not the day that they were really up to at a full pressure zone. But you can definitely imagine what you are really up to it now. But I have no other conservation feelings if there is a number change up it's gonna be. There is one way that they can try to like keep on coming down. And there is like another situation that they can try to keep going over and attacking the under. They are just doing really well. But great one for Bryson. He gave it over again to Marchitzel. He done really well. 
Keep that one eye on the flow. You can handle it. Here's been taking a shot. Stopped again by Gill. 18 left minutes to start the spare in the third as Margaret Sol will have it. And a shoot away. The third goal is denied by Skinner. Jamark's got it across to Nurse. Back again to Cece. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. On his way to the pressure. Saved off by Gill. Two times stop. Aiden Hill's going to hold it up with the whistle where 17 26 to go in the third period. After a true lens list by Darnell Nurse, it's a 4-3 game. Sevenson wins the faceoff. Richangelo has that puck. Keeps the puck right over to Martinez. And now Reddish give it again to Stephenson. Stephenson in the middle. Nurse has it again to Nugent Hopkins. Hopkins right over now again to Jammar. Pass again to Nurse. He finds Kane. Looks back to Nurse. Back again to Jamar. He is Nurse. Over again to CC. Shot. Saved again by Gill. 16, 13 left to go in the third period. What a great look. This offense can't get enough to win it. You made that one clear. That is like a hard one that everybody's going to pass. Look the win again for Stephenson. He finds again a barbershop. McCloyd's got the puck. In the middle, Rachel Bell, left by Gill. What a great up, what a great show up here for Hill as he makes another huge save. There's a lot of attackers. There is a lot for away. But they are trying to keep that one going. It's not what you do. You try to stay out, try to like go in between the attackers, find the menu you're coming for. It's like covering on the uh, offensive end of zones, and the defender is not always impossible. It's just an easier way that they can do it at all the time. But don't let them get away with that one, because sometimes there could be an offensive, you know, the odd man rush. However, this might have been one demonstration to make for. But now they're back into it, but keep on going. For Josh A. Scores! We are tied again! Two in a row for the Oilers Knights. Outstanding shot for Warren Fojo. Fojo really made this one go. Watch what happens. He made that one slip. He's ready to aim and target it away. He put it right in passing for the kill. That's what you always do. You've got to make that one show him off to the start page in there. That keeps on going in. Teams are tied up with only 4-4 four four with under 15 minutes remaining in the third. The win for the Vegas Knights. Fedor has that puck. Trying to fish off to Roy shot. Blocked up. Can't get it in there as it's stopped again by Skinner. McDavid. Can't find an open man. Kolsar in the bound. What a save by the goaltender. Kosar, no! David David has it back! Now try side will David over into the Vegas stop. That stopped by Gill. 14 minutes remaining in the third, as this one's still coming down toward the wire. The NBA play-in tournaments will be happening here after the final game of the Celtics and the Heat. And then we take a one day off and get ready for the play-in tournaments. This will be happening in between the start of a 7 versus the 8th seed in Eastern and Western Conference on one days, and then the next one will happen to be cured for a 9 and 10 seed of the game in between the Eastern and Western Conferences also. And then after that, win to get in will be the last one to take for in between of the last two remaining that loses and wins. Shot that stopped again. Muchar back to Hyman. Here's Hyman right toward the wing. Shoots! Saved off by Gill. On a pad rebound, now back again to the Vegas side of the territory. To the Oilers. Oh, he went down! That's a big cookout! This is like a, a biggest knockout. You just do not want to see me do this, do you? Hyman had that one, now finding Dreisaitl. 
dry saddle trying to attempt it. Back to White Cloud. He's now past the March itself. March is all on his way down, marching in with a shot. This one gets blocked up. Jamark's got a puck here in the corner. Valley for the loose spark on the board. And a penalty raging on. That will be on Edmonton Oilers with a slash in. Oh, I do not like that. It's just what no one likes. Because Mateus Jamark, he got caught. That's not how you defend it. You don't take the response. You don't get it done right. Another penalty kill for the Edmonton Oilers. And now it will be the Vegas Golden Knights on the power play. Attempt to take the lead. Here's Pachangelo. Brown has that puck. He's looking for a short-handed goal. Off to Dijanakis. Oh, what a save by Gill. That was close. That really is going to be almost like everything possible. But it just turned to be getting away with it. That was a close call. Here's Carl City, he'll have that bucking range down in the biggest side. Pass to Petrangelo, up to Amedio. Amedio with the puck in right down in four. Nathan Hopkins has that puck taken away. One minute in the power play for the Vegas Golden Knights and passed nearing the midway mark of the period. That almost went to lay the game. Bryson over to Carlson and now Stephenson. Ready to get an Amelia shot. What a save by Skinner. Just 10 26 remaining in the third. And Skinner never gone to sell down before. They're just going to keep that one coming down. Oilers really are going to show them off like that. The win again for the Oilers. And now this will clear out. As Skatner will have it. Now the shot. Good. Right field. Watch yourself. Right fighting to Theodore. Here's Gagner with the puck, finally get an echo. This time it's almost about to expire. Penalty kill is over as the man is out of Jamark and he's ready to get back on ice. This one is another major critical which means short Andy with the power play goal in motion. They really are doing a lot much harder to carry on. Everyone has been looking over it. Find a guy who you're coming for. I really like when they make a lot of new changes, and there's almost a screen in pasta. They're just going like crazy enough that you're gonna have to try to like go on your own. But how much do you have to do? A lot of work. A lot of work of routine has to do for it all of itself. You've got to keep on going. Got her right toward the wing. This one's blocked up as Bouchard has it over to Nugent Hopkins. Oilers are into the Vegas territory. Barbashev takes the puck away. Roy has it. Eight minutes remaining in the third. The spin over to Theodore, blocked up by Skinner. He was going to stop here with just only under eight minutes to go. What a great saving mark. With a look, a city over, right down to DJ Beats. Well, I have a lot of great feeling for Connor McDavid. For this wheels on his emotional, he's been going all over it for tonight now, and he has gotten like a great speed of the work. He's going in there, folks. Let's keep on going for Dreisler. Give it over again to Connor McDavid. After a save here by Gill, it's a tie game with 7.30 to go. Now they're ready to do another frozen biscuit drop, as this one's still tied. This one puts up another win for Vegas. Marinus finds Stephenson. Up down to Amidia. Amidia looking for Royal. Marvishev in middle. This one gets blocked up and Ekholm give it again to Hyman. Hyman on his way down. Shoots. Saved again by Hill. McDavid has it. He now gives it back to Ekholm. Here's Shreisan. Which are shot. And a glove save by Hill. Oh, what a great save at this point. He made out with history. The making, all you do, it's a process of get this thing with a goaltender to glove it up, snap it, and get it done. Here's another win for Vegas. Marinez finds for Changelo. 6.20 left to go in the third period. He's on his way down. Shoots, save it off by Skinner. 
and David will have it back. Here's Hyman, he will have it over. Maintain a shot, that one's blocked. Tipped onto the glass and it goes in play. For Changelo, right over to Morelli. Morelli lost that puck as TC gets to Hyman. Hyman all alone! Shoots! Save off again by Gill. Hey, David, pass to CC. That shot's blocked. Tipped it over right towards the Dancinka. Five minutes remaining in the third period. Morelli will have that puck in into the corner. Right behind the Zanko shot that goes wide. The Zanko again to White Cloud shot. Stopped by CC, and now McCloy will have it. McCloy with a shot. Gloved up by Gill. 4.23 left to remain in the third period. We like to make the encouragement that tomorrow will be the next one. The first game will be the Bruins and the Capitals. Following along with the Rangers versus the Bolts. And the other side will be the Stars and Nashville Predators in Dallas at American Airlines Center. And finally, all you can go for. It's what everyone calls to be Kings and Canucks at Rogers Arena in Vancouver, B.C. That'll be happening for tomorrow's game. Keep your eyes peeled. Right on its way, coming up. Barry blocked that shot, and that's a rebound picks up. 3.30, under 3.30 left to go. Kick the puck out. Here's McCloy. Over now, Martin still takes a steal. Three minutes remaining in the third period, still a tie game. Oh, he went down! What a big hello moment! That's what they do. Martin trying to mess up a marching cell for good. He lost that puck as Emilio has it. Cleared the puck into the Oilers bench. The Oilers are back in the offense as CeCe will give it to Dreisaitl. Back again to Nurse. Taken along by McDavid. Two minutes remaining in the third. He now finds Hyman. He might tumble down. What a stop. And he scores! Connor McDavid brings their team up by one. And just only 22 minutes remaining. That's what happens. Connor McDavid just so now he's done. He knocked his bottle out, and McDavid just got a wicked on the shot. Took it here and knocked it out of here. What a great play for Connor McDavid. It's all for everyone because Scott and McDaniel had that rebound putting it in. It's like a great set of key. In between his zones, he keeps on coming in alive. It just happens to be what they do. A save comes up by Hill. Colsar has that puck. 90 second in the third period. Backhand stopped by Skinner. Another face-off coming up in between the Oilers and the Knights. The win for Roy. On a release bit. Saved again by Skinner. This one goes back to Kosar. Another stop made by Skinner. Just down to a last minute remaining in the third. Here's that call pass to Kane. Back and releases. It goes up and over the net and right toward the wall. Now back to Roy. They still have a lot of time as they're bringing an extra man on. That's saved again by Skinner. Echo battling in the board. Here's another one. For the Oilers. And they will get in the way. Jammer. Chad went wide. Matrangelo. Last possession for the Knights. They need to tie it or be broken up. And it's broken up. Nugent Hopkins will fire a deep. Hammer block. And that ends the first game of the night. Oilers take it all. A 5-4 over the Vegas Golden Knights. It's all Jakes to Chip and one of each game proves the goaltender Skinner. What a remarkable save. Keep it lights on because that's what you do. Just show what you have. We all salute fans. We can't make them aggressive about them. In the meantime, that should do it here for the last game. Terry Cruz along with Nickel and DJ Beats. This has been a presentation 
of the NHL and Stanley Cup playoffs of EA Sports. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. All right, thank you so much. Time for three-star players of the game. Third star goes to Shane Vidor with a three assist and two bits. John Le Margentil only had two goals in this game, but unfortunately, no hat-trick whatsoever. And your first star player of the game goes to take the lead, Connor McDavid. One goal, one assist, and two gets. That's what you always do. Make a relentless way to get the goal down and under. Here's how they did with the total statistics in between. As right now we have 56 over 51 for the Edmonton Oilers. And there was a lot of 56 over 54 for the hits of the Vegas Golden Knights. Then it was 718 over 631 for the Edmonton Oilers. And then it was 94 over 90 for the Edmonton Oilers that did it again with the passing. 38 over 14 for Vegas. Both teams had a penalty kill. One power play goals with 254 for Vegas and 407 for Edmonton Oilers. They're doing a lot great harder than technique. I am really astounded at what will this happen to be next. While it might be coming in right now, you never know what's going to be like. <laughs> yeah, it's always that simple. I know. Keep that one for real. In the meantime, that should do for the first day here of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you haven't liked to have done so yet, please feel free to subscribe to this channel. Also, follow me on the social media, and you can check it out right in between of Instagram, X, and TikTok. I'll have more contestants if they can definitely join in. Don't worry, I'm kidding about that. <laughs> That's what I always do think of. Oh, you still have to worry about that after all. <laughs> Don't get that one away for it. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL 24 of the Stanley Cup playoff dial. This is Silver Spoon signing out. Goodbye, everybody, and have a great night. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.